Welcome to Vintage Variety. Today we're going to do a vintage and antique jewelry unboxing from my fellow YouTuber Dana Stewart Coates over at Killer Queen Antiques. Welcome to Vintage Variety. Today I am going to be doing an unboxing from my friend and fellow YouTuber Dana Stewart Coates over at Killer Queen Antiques. I've had this for I would say at least several days and I've put off doing the unboxing because I was kind of saving it. Anytime I get a package from her, it's always a treat. I did purchase a few items from her and if you're familiar with her, you know that she gets a lot of really great items. She's based in the United Kingdom. She gets antique jewelry. She also gets vintage jewelry. And anytime you order from her, she always throws in some gift items. So she's very generous. And everything I've ever gotten from her, I have really loved. So just kind of saving this. And now we're going to open it up today. And I'll show you all the wonderful things that she sent me. So I had to pause recording to get the outside taken off of this. Really excited. I do know that she had messaged me. I know that she did send me some more wonderful craft items. I do have some new subscribers, so I did want to mention I have tagged her in this content. And if you go to the description box of this video, there will be a link to her channel. Dana is out of the United Kingdom. She has access to some beautiful antique jewelry. She also does vintage jewelry. And honestly, guys, you can buy pieces from Dana at such a good price compared to what you would get antique pieces for here in the United States from an antique store. And she shows a lot of really good quality antiques. So go check her out if you love vintage and antique jewelry. You will definitely want to buy some things from her. So let's see what she has sent me. And I'm going to be honest, I do remember some of the things I ordered. But there's a lot of things in here that I'm pretty sure she has just gifted. So. Okay, so I was really excited about this. So this is Josephine, and this is Napoleon Bonaparte. This is antique, and these are just printed pictures that are in here. So I thought this would be a really cool thing to own. I bid on this, can't remember what I paid for it, but I did bid on it, and I won it at one of her live auctions. She does live auctions. She also does a lot of educational videos, so she is well worth watching. If you haven't watched her, believe me, take my word for it. You just do not know what you're missing. So I absolutely love this. I'm probably going to put this on a chain so that I can wear it. Really cool piece of jewelry. I'm going to cut this one open. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I bid on this. And she ended up gifting it to me. And the reason she gifted it to me is I think this one was missing something. But this is a bracelet charm. It is sterling. And it's a monkey. You see how cute that is? And I got this for my daughter. This is going to be a gift for her. Hopefully she doesn't see it in the video and want it right away. My guess is this is probably going to be a really nice Christmas gift. So I'm pretty sure that she gifted me that one. And I believe there's probably another one in here that I purchased. I think I purchased this one. This is also a charm. This would look really pretty worn as a pendant or either on a bracelet. And it looks like a Viking ship. This one is also done in sterling. And I thought this was fabulous. 
There's a good look at the back of it. Another good look at the front. Isn't that cool? A very pretty bangle. Looks like a rope. And this is also done in sterling. I have a few bangles and bracelets that are done in sterling. And I like to wear them all together. And that's something I may do content on and just showing you how I wear some of my bangles. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know in the comments. Very beautiful bracelet. Love it. All of the rest of these items, as far as I know, are gift items that she sent me. She is always too generous. I have been watching Dana, I want to say since she first started on YouTube, and I'm always so impressed not only by some of the jewelry that she shows, she shows some absolutely fabulous jewelry, but also by how generous she is. One thing that she sent me that I just can't get over is this beautiful cameo. Is this not gorgeous, guys? I will show you the back. This one is has a C closure. So this is a nice old cameo with lots of beautiful details on it. This is a pair of delicate little sterling silver hoops. They are absolutely gorgeous and they are marked on there, made in England. So keep that in mind, guys. She not only gifts, but she gives really nice gifts. Look at this beautiful watch. Let's zoom in on it. Oh, wow. This is a Raymond Well watch. And if you're familiar with Raymond Well, they make some excellent watches. I'll show you on the back. Stainless steel, water resistant, just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So let's see what else we have here. Oh wow, this is a set. Isn't that pretty? This is one of those floating pearl necklaces. I think that's the right term. If it's not, you guys know what I mean. Let's look at the earrings first. Aren't those pretty? Just gorgeous, gorgeous earrings. Look how pretty those are. And then we have the necklace to match them. And what I mean by floating pearl is they're done on a very thin kind of monofilament so that when you wear them, they look like they're floating. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. Is this not beautiful? Look at this cut glass. And this is vintage. Very weighty. Look at the shine on that. Beautiful, beautiful vintage necklace. Imagine how pretty this would look layered with some rock crystal quartz or some more red beads or even some black beads. And here we have some gorgeous seed bead earrings and these are clip-ons. Some more glass beads. This is a vintage milk glass necklace. This one has a barrel closure. Looks like it may need a bit of a repair there or restrung, but otherwise it's pretty sturdy. It could be left like that. She did mention that she sent some craft items in here because I do like to craft. I did a video showing jewelry repair and I also showed how to take broken bits and pieces of vintage jewelry that can't be repaired and make something else beautiful out of them. Oh, wow. Get a load of this, guys. Look at the details on the chain. Look at the construction on the back of this. Now, so far, everything she has sent me has been fabulous. So here we have a piece that needs to be restrung. One of the pieces have come loose off of it. You can see right here, look at the clasp on this pearl necklace. 
And this is a push-in box clasp. And let's see who it's by. So this is a beautiful Vendôme. Vendôme is a really good vintage brand to collect. So this necklace is, of course, well worth restringing. Even if it wasn't Vendôme, as pretty as it is, it's something that I would definitely want to put the effort into to restring. And I do have another pearl necklace, and it's not a Vendôme, but it's similar to this. It has a really pretty clasp on it that I'm going to restring. So I'll probably do both of these at the same time. Really love Vendôme jewelry. Don't own a whole lot of it, but I love it. Now get a load of this. These are beautiful faceted glass red beads. Love glass. And that's something that she gets a lot of. She does get a lot of glass. Look at this delicate little thing. And these are real pearls. Look how delicate and pretty that is. This one, this is a very old brooch. How precious is that? It looks like a basket full of flowers. And this one is also marked on the back. Here's the marking on the back, Czechoslovakia. So this is made out of what appears to be mink. How cool is that? It is so soft. I will tell you guys, I am not for wearing animal fur. Even if I had the money, would I go out and buy a real fur coat? No, but when it comes to these vintage items, it's already been done. I don't have anything like this in my collection. So this will be something unique to add to it. Some more really pretty vintage glass beads. And look at the color on these. These are a beautiful cobalt. And this one has a barrel closure. Very nice weight to them. They are glass. This is pretty. This is Mother of Pearl. And this one says Mother on it. There we go. Wasn't sure how to get this one open. So this is vintage. This is Mother of Pearl. This is marked Mexico. I can't really see the other marking on there. So this may be alpaca. This is a really pretty bracelet. It does have a little bit of wear on it. Nothing wrong with it. It's still perfectly wearable. Oh wow, look at this. So this, this is a beautiful brooch and what you see in the center, I believe this is an agate. You guys know, I've said it a million times, not that really good with stones, but that's what I believe this is. Oh, this is pretty. Very pretty, dainty bracelet. And I'm not sure if this is costume or if it's sterling. This looks like bovine. And I'm gonna zoom into it so you guys can see. Do you see this right here where I'm really zoomed in on it? Looks kind of porous. So that's usually what you will see on pieces that are bovine. This one doesn't have a closure on it. Or maybe it did it one time. It may have broken and been put back together. But either way, this is a really beautiful necklace. <clears throat> and here we have a bracelet. And this says number seven, Venezia. Some more pearls. It does have a 925 clasp on it, individually knotted. This is what looks to be Mother of Pearl. And then it has all of these tiny beads in between it. 
and it has this kind of a closure on it. Isn't that pretty? Look how beautiful this is. This would be a really pretty piece to layer up with other pieces. Wow, look at this. This would look really pretty layered with the bracelet that I bought from her, the rope style bracelet. This is real stone. Lots of different types of beads in here. This kind of looks like amber. Not sure if it is or not. I don't have my black light handy. And this one does have a toggle closure. This one I know is amber because if I recall correctly, in her email, she said that this one was a Cleopatra style necklace and that it was amber. Of course, this is pressed amber. And I think she said it was missing the clasp on it. It is. So this just needs to be restrung. And maybe I'll put a different type of clasp on it, but isn't that pretty? Really pretty Cleopatra style pressed amber necklace. I'm gonna keep it in its bag so that I don't lose any of the pieces. Oh, she sent me some candy. Parma violets. So I will definitely have to try these. Never had this kind of candy. No artificial colors. Have to try that. Do have a couple of loose beads in here. And I'm not sure about these pieces. The reason I say that is I don't have my black light. So she did say that there were some amber pieces. So these I will have to check later with the black light. This one has a spring ring closure. I'm gonna see if I can get this hooked. My hands don't want to work the way they used to, guys. Beautiful yellow color. And then we have this. Well, I started to say this one, but there are two of these at two different lengths. One longer and one shorter, I believe. This one has a spring ring closure. This one doesn't have a closure, but it doesn't really need it. So now we have some earrings that we're going to look at. I think she just said that this was just a random baggy earring them all poured out and we'll go through these look how cool these are Let's see if I can get them untangled okay aren't those neat wouldn't these be cool to wear around Christmas time I really like these oh wow get a load of these these are just beautiful. I like big statement earrings like this. I usually wear my hair a little shorter. And these large statement earrings, they look good on anyone, whether you have short hair or long hair. But I've always thought that if you have short hair and you really want to make a statement, just put on some big earrings. Adjustable mother of pearl ring would be a really cute midi ring, but this would adjust on out to a bigger size. Faux pearl earrings, and this one's missing a pearl. Actually, the pearl is right here. So, pretty easy repair, just a little bit of jewelry glue. This looks like a bracelet charm. From the looks of it, I think it opens. Here we go. I do believe this is sterling by the looks of it. I don't see a marking. It's missing a few stones, but I could easily put some tiny rhinestones in there and get it all fixed up. I believe I've dropped the ear wire out of this. I did. They are enameled. They look like doves. These are just lovely. 
it looks like it's missing a bead. Again, I did say she included some craft items. This would be a really easy fix. I could either replace the missing bead or just take this bead off of here. Another very pretty ring. Costume earrings. I love red. Oh, these are cute. Look at these. Another pair of really pretty enameled earrings. How cute is this? Red rhinestone for the eye. Looks like a mouse and his tail's curled around. These are glass. Really pretty deep purple color. Or really cool looking earrings. Look how these are made. Isn't that neat? Ooh, look how pretty this is. This is a single, but this would make a gorgeous pendant on a necklace. All that would have to be done is this part would need to be removed and a jump ring put in and then just put it on a chain. And cute little gold tone earrings. Really like those. I believe these are marcasite. Think how pretty these would look on your ear. Like a bouquet of flowers. If these two are loose. Just loose earrings. Things like this come in really handy, especially if you run across something that's missing a stone. Another really pretty single sterling earring. This would make a gorgeous pendant. Just remove this part, put in a jump ring, and put this on a sterling chain. This one's also sterling. It's marked right here. Lots of options here when it comes to crafting. I always like getting craft items because you never know what kind of beautiful piece of jewelry you can create with them. A wonderful unboxing. Guys, if you haven't already subscribed to her, a link to her channel is in the description box below this video. And it's a great place to go if you're interested in purchasing vintage or antique jewelry. If you enjoyed this content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and ring the bell for notifications so you will be notified anytime I upload content. I want to thank you guys for taking time out of your day to share these items with me. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.